The showdown over the debt limit is approaching the August 2nd deadline with no deal in sight. Last night, House Republican leaders abandoned plans to vote on a bill put forward by Speaker John Boehner. The decision was made after Boehner could not come up with enough support for the measure from his fellow Republicans. Many said they would not vote for the bill because it did not include enough spending cuts. For more, we're joined on the phone by Patrick Terpstra. He's a congressional reporter for Capitol News Connection. Thanks for being with us, Patrick. You bet. All right, so where does this leave us now? Well, that's a really good question that right now House leadership just can't answer. What they're going to be doing is meeting first thing in the morning. The, the leadership is to sort of decide if there is something they can do to get a few more Republicans on board with this Boehner plan. And right now, what that looks like is going to be is perhaps, yes, a vote on the Boehner plan, but then immediately a vote on a cut, cap, and balance type of plan, a plan essentially to uh, to pass a constitutional amendment out of the House requiring a balanced budget. The theory being that that is what a lot of these Tea Party freshman Republicans were really holding out for. So uh, we should look to see if something like that perhaps advances to the floor. Uh, and then that could be what Boehner needs to get to his bill to, to pass the House. Well, how many votes do you think Boehner needs at this point? Leadership is not saying, but what our sources are telling us is that it could be as many as 10 votes, uh, as, as few as, you know, perhaps three to five and upwards of 10. We don't think it's below that only because we think that there could have been enough arm twisting to get this vote tonight. But if there are, in fact, 10 people still out there, then that's, that's still a pretty high bar that the, the speaker is going to have to clear. So, Patrick, what does this say about John Boehner and his leadership of House Republicans? Well, this is evidence that he really does not have full control over his caucus. Uh, this is a huge embarrassment to the speaker, who, by the way, he came out and he said that, uh, that you know, this really would be a referendum on the Republicans' ability to sort of get things done in the House. And, and even having said that, he still could not muster the vote. So this is definitely not a good thing for the speaker. But if he can go ahead and, and bring this to the floor eventually and, and get this approved, certainly he can save face. But, but just overall, this has been sort of an example of just how hard it is to get some of the Tea Party freshman Republicans in line with what the party wants to be doing as a whole. So do you expect some progress to be made today, or is this going to go into the weekend? We do expect some progress today. Essentially, we expect that probably the speaker is going to get this bill passed at some point. And then immediately, as soon as that's passed, Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid has said that the Senate will take it up and promptly kill it. He has got all 53 Democrats saying that they will oppose it. And we're also hearing that as many as 14 Republicans will be opposing it, but for different reasons in the Senate. They think that the bill does not cut enough. But clearly the bill will be dead once it gets to the Senate. Once that happens, then they go into the weekend basically at square one, which sounds like a daunting thing, but at that point they will be just a few days away from default, and the hope on Capitol Hill is that they will finally be able to say, okay, this is the 11th hour, the 59th minute, what do we need to do to get a compromise done? And, and right now the big question is, will they, will they vote for a debt limit increase in one, in one bill, one vote as the Democrats want, or will it be two votes like the Republicans want? Other than that, there really are not a whole lot of huge differences between Democrats and Republicans. So they're starting to sort of coalesce around what they want to see happen, and, and probably at some point over the weekend they will uh, come to compromise. But, Patrick, isn't there an option that uh, some Democrats are talking about where President Obama could invoke the 14th Amendment of the Constitution and unilaterally raise the debt ceiling without any kind of legislation? Absolutely. And, in fact, in fact, former President Clinton says that that's what he would have done if, if he were president today, that he would simply say the 14th Amendment says that the United States cannot carry a debt, therefore he is simply raising the debt ceiling as the president. Now, Obama has said that that simply is not an option, that his lawyers think that, that, that that's something the president cannot do, that this must be something Congress does. He has said that all along, and, and even the lawyers have said that they're not even studying the 14th Amendment. So, uh, you know, at this point, it, that does not look like something that the Obama White House will be pursuing. So do you think we'll hear from the president today or perhaps this weekend as well? 
Well, it's hard to say, except that he has done a lot of news conferences, sort of using the bully pulpit uh, of the presidency uh, to, to try and really be the, the so-called adult in the room in all of this. So it's, it's quite possible that after uh, a day of legislation of, of the House passing the Boehner plan and the Senate defeating it and, and perhaps Senator Reid then coming up with the compromise, that we could hear from the president again. Certainly at some point over the weekend, that, that would not be a surprise. A lot to be decided. Patrick Terpstra from Capital News Connection. Thanks so much for your information and joining us. We do appreciate it. Thanks, Betty.